For decades, our next restaurant was known as the iconic Arts Crab Shack. And though he has fond memories from childhood visits there, it didn't take long for DC to warm up to its replacement. With a chill vibe, hip bar scene, and eclectic California cuisine, it's Copper Spoon Cocktails and Kitchen in Oakland. My partner Carmen and I decided copper is a great metal, it's a healing metal, and it also embodies what we believe Oakland is, which has always been a beautiful city, but it patinas and changes with time. I'm Vita Simone Strauss, and this is Copper Spoon Cocktail Kitchen. This has kind of been a quintessential location for Oakland as a watering hole. Uh, it was Arts Steakhouse prior, and then it was Arts Crab Shack. It's been a place that Oakland knows. We also have one of the biggest signs in all of Oakland. It's now considered a billboard. So Arts Steakhouse was predominantly run by a woman. And then when it became Arts Crab Shack, it was owned by Maluda, and she's a woman, powerful black woman. Carmen and I are really like-minded and created a friendship through what the future should be, which is workers' rights and equal rights for everybody. The menu here, definitely flavor forward, market driven, organic. We try to use a lot of vegetables in creating dishes, things that make you feel good. It's not really health food, but if you use better ingredients, you come out with a better product. There's a pulse that happens when you're serving people or you insatiate people and they become completely fascinated with how you figured out their palate. It just makes me tick. It makes me excited to come to work every day. We want Oakland to come here. We want it to be a watering hole where People that don't look the same, people that aren't the same age group can strike up a conversation. So you remember this place as the Crab Shack? Absolutely, I remember being a kid. My mom used to drive the bus uh, uh, down the street from, from Arts and we would stop from time to time and dip in and grab stuff, whether or not it was the crab or the garlic bread. Mm -hmm. uh, just kind of having those memories drove me to kind of go back one day and be like, oh, okay, well, I'm gonna go to Arts. And when it wasn't there, I was a bit upset, mm -hmm. but then I noticed this brand new restaurant that was there and I've been going back ever since. What about the cocktails there? Uh, you know, I'm a bourbon guy, so Ooh, you know, I'm, either I love gonna, you. I'm either gonna have my bourbon straight in a glass or yeah. I'm gonna have a Manhattan. They have a really great house Manhattan. Mm -hmm. Vita, she, you know, really kind of crafts that very well. They, all the cocktails we had were really delicious. And anytime I see passion fruit on a menu, I'll always get a passion fruit drink. So it was mezcal and passion fruit. So it had this like citrus and sweet, but like smoky tequila flavor. I wanted to drink like six of those. And Rob, what about you? Classic Start with martini guy. There you go. <laughs> you go clear or you go dirty? I go dirty. Okay, mm -hmm. absolutely. Gotta be well, dirty. Well, he's an olive guy. Come on. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you know You're what? Right. Yeah, exactly. If See I can get I'm blue saying? cheese in that olive Ooh. and it's dirty, I'm just happier than can be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. that sounds delicious. So clearly the cocktail piece of Copper Spoon is working. What about the kitchen piece? Where do oh, you? I start off with the breads and spreads every time I go in. Mm -hmm. They come with different yeah. kind of sauces or spreads. One of them is the tomato jam and bacon. Uh, you know, the right amount of tomato and can you ever really go wrong with bacon? Never. Mm -hmm. Not Never. in my opinion. No, then I'm a beats guy. I like beets. Mm -hmm. I love beets. Right. <laughs> so they have a, a dish called Beets by Dre, which is different colors and types of beets on a plate with this uh, smoked yogurt on the top. You are super healthy. I got a plate full of bacon. Three types of bacon. <laughs> bacon for the win, they called it. I yeah. love all the names at that place. Like, I love reading menus and I'll just like yeah. read through and I was like, wow, these people are super creative. But the bacon came three ways, mm -hmm. really crispy, perfectly salted and peppered. And then they had these lardons that were in mm. a sweet sauce. Did you guys mm -hmm. have the bacon? No, I didn't, I didn't oh have that Oh my goodness, bacon. but I like the way you look at me while I talk about bacon. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. <laughs> yeah, everybody's hungry. <laughs> and then it came with pork Thank belly. You. And usually I don't like pork belly because it's kind of fatty, mm -hmm. but this pork belly was like amazing. It tasted like carnitas and little cubes. Yeah. I had deviled eggs. Okay. Oh. I gotta tell you, they're the most beautiful deviled eggs you've ever seen. I don't know what was in those deviled eggs. <laughs> there was a hidden flavor. Mm -hmm. Two of us liked it, one of us did not mm -hmm. like it so much, mm -hmm. but I moved on, I moved on. <laughs> and um, everything else I had was absolutely delicious, and including a salad. Mm -hmm. They had a bitter green yeah. and a buttermilk dressing to die for. So main course, I did the, the white fish, really kind of like flaky, you know, and they had this lemongrass broth. Mm. You can just take I a little like bit of it and pour it on top of the fish or yeah. whatnot. It's a great taste. My mom taste. got that, and it was a big portion too. Yeah. Right. She was really happy to save some of that. I had the scallops, kind of like a fish, but not a fish. It's well, a shellfish. Shell yeah, yeah. You know, it's in the water. It's it's a shell doesn't, it doesn't swim. Yeah. <laughs> but it was, they were really delicious. It came with this truffle turnip mash thing. And I'm really happy that I like to eat all of my family's food because <laughs> my brother got the Lamburger. And yes. I wish that I had had that whole thing to myself, but it was so 
delicious. It had a brioche bun and some like mm -hmm. yogurt mint sauce mm -hmm. on top. Yeah. And he gave me a little piece and I was like, all right, give me some more. Mm -hmm. Their buns were really good. And I was like, where'd you get these buns? <laughs> they were so good. <laughs> Sounds like a song. Yeah, it Where'd is. You get the bun? Uh, what song is it, DJ? That would be, uh, I'm not, uh, Sir Mix a Lot. There yeah. we go. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Sir Mix a Lot. Where'd I you get maybe the got back. Yeah. Exactly. How am I, I like delayed on that? I don't I know. I don't know. It was a lot. Yeah. I like big buns and I cannot lie. Yeah, that's facts. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Every time. <laughs> All right, what did you have for a main course? The one? halal chicken. Mm. It is possibly the best chicken I've had that is not Thai chicken mm. because it had a lot of flavor, it had a nice little crispiness to the outside, juicy. I dream about that chicken. <laughs> I, I do. I will go back for that chicken. And what about dessert? Ooh. So I do the carrot cake mm -hmm. in there. Yes. And that carrot cake was, oh was fantastic. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the cream cheese frosting. Yeah, the cream cheese frosting mm -hmm. was really good. It was a perfect cake to frosting ratio. Mm -hmm. It was you know, right on right. point. And Absolutely. what about value? I thought it was a lot of value for the money. And I also think that the experience there is worth paying for. It's the party you want to be at. Mm -hmm. It's like it had an active bar. It had beautiful people, mm -hmm. interesting uh, staff interesting people hanging out there mm -hmm. everybody was having a good time there's a vibe there everyone who was in there was super welcoming super mm -hmm. nice the music is usually really mm -hmm. good all right yeah. your spot wrap it up for us uh, if you want to go to a place with a really great vibe check out copper swing cocktails and kitchen in Oakland and make sure you talk about that uh, bourbon drink behind the bar <laughs> Yes. <laughs> all right Julia all right definitely start with a lot of drinks the mezcal drink is amazing and I would always go back for that and Rob don't let the Crab Shack sign fool you. <laughs> you walk in, and it's like you're walking into a party that you want to stay all night at. All right. If you would like to try Copper Spoon Cocktails and Kitchen, it's on Broadway at 40th in Oakland. The telephone number is 510-879-7061. It's open for dinner every day with lunch on weekdays and brunch on Sunday. Reservations are recommended, and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $30. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... <music> Oakland International Airport. Now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com IRG has thousands of surfaces in stock now. Surfaces. Selection. Service. IRG at marblecompany.com. Total Wine & More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine & More, now with eight Bay Area locations. TotalWine.com. Sutter Health CPMC announcing its newly opened Mission Bernal Hospital with all private rooms and comprehensive labor and delivery services. SutterHealth.org slash Mission Bernal. Redwood Credit Union, community banking for the North Bay and San Francisco. Business and personal, online and mobile, plus nationwide ATMs. Banking for people who call this place home.